Hey ladies, uh, today I am going to be showing you the acrylic process top to bottom. I'm going to begin showing you guys how to do the acrylic nail process or to apply acrylic nails um, from top to bottom from beginning to end. This is just how I apply acrylics. It's worked for me for many years so I hope this will help someone. I hope you guys will stay tuned and watch. The first, very first thing that you need to do is wash your hands um, or use some hand sanitizer. Okay, so my first steps are going to involve um, prepping the natural nail. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clippers and I'm going to clip back the natural nail as close down as you can without, of course, hurting yourself. Whatever, if it breaks, it's not going to rip your natural nail off. If there's too much free edge on your natural nail, it may cause some damage if it gets pulled off for whatever reason. You're going to take a nail file and you're going to, and this is my my nail file that I use for just tutorial, so no worries, this, doesn't, this will not be used on anybody. Go ahead and shape it. Now, what you would do is you would apply some um, cuticle remover. So you're going to apply that all on the cuticle area and the um, nail folds on the side. So since this is plastic, you obviously won't be able to see very well. I do have a nail prep video if you guys want to go check that out on how um, to get around the cuticles and to use the nippers and all of that. But you could either go wash your hands or what I use is a, um, a spray, a very light mist spray bottle full of half alcohol and half water. And this is just to remove any of that cuticle remover as there, so there's no lifting you remove any debris that may be left and really just cleanse that nail plate completely. If you guys do want to see more about praying the natural nail on a real nail and not just this, um, my nail trainer, feel free to go to my other nail prep video that I will uh, post a link to right there. And um, just uh, go check it out and see. Hopefully someone will learn something from it. Now on a natural nail, uh, the nail plate will be shiny. And that is due to oils, nat your natural oil. So you're going to take the 180 side of your 180-100 file and you're going to gently buff. Now some people like to use their e-file. I don't because I like to be very careful about how much I'm taking off of the natural nail. If you get too wild with it, you could end up with really, really, really thin and painful natural nail beds and it, it does take a long time to come back from that so please be careful on this step. So if you've got a nail brush go ahead and remove the dust. I like to use my duster. Alright so we've now prepared the nail bed and whatever dehydrator that you have you're going to dehydrate the nail the purpose of the dehydrator is to not only remove any any more of the natural oils that you didn't get but when um, gently buffing the nail plate but it's also going to balance your pH which will um, allow the acrylic to adhere better to your natural nail beds. So you're gonna, that actually works very well. So what I personally like to use is the hurry up nail glue dryer like I have more control with it so I'm gonna lightly spray it. I kind of have to work fast with this stuff. I take my glue and apply just a little bit of glue in the well area. Now this, these don't have wells but we're gonna pretend like it does. <laughs> so go ahead and wipe it once 45 degree angle and then straight down. Go ahead and trim it trim it to however you like. I do have another video on tips and I'll actually, they'll, at the end of the video there's going to be annotations or there's going to be links for you guys to go to. Um, so I'm, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make them kind of short. You're going to press it 
press gently on your nail fold. And I'm doing a square, so I'm going to do it perpendicular, straight. For the sake of time, I just like to do this on really low speed. I take my, my e-file and I use a sander bit. Turn it down very low. And I'm going to gently blend the tip. Just to, I mean, if you're using a clear, you're going to want to blend it more. But I just want to get some of that excess glue off. I want to make it pretty flush. To the natural nail. And then I'm going to quickly go over the rest of the plastic nail set to remove any of that natural shine. And you're going to want to do this so it'll help to adhere better to the plastic. And that's You want to do this fairly often just to keep the nail clean and keep it ready. So you take your dehydrator again, spray it again. You take your primer. I use the IBD Natural Nail Primer. Now, you're going to do two coats of this. I'm just doing one so it doesn't have to dry too long. You remove the excess on the paper towel and you're going to apply the primer on the natural nail only, being careful not to get that on your cuticle area at all. Alright, so I'm back. So I'm going to start um, after you prep the nail and get the nail tip on. You're going to grab a ball of pink. Well, in this case, pink for me. I'm doing a simple, glittery pink and white. I'm going to place that almost to your cuticle area and gently angle the finger down. This will prevent any runoff into your cuticle area. You're going to gently push that up and pat into place all over the natural nail all the way around. Now I picked up the perfect size for this nail bed. Normally I work in two, three different, um, usually just two different balls of acrylic, but very important not to have the acrylic go over the sides of the nails or touch your cuticle area because that will cause lifting. So you're going to go ahead and clean up your smile line as you're working and continue to pat into place. Okay. This one I'm going to, or I'm sorry, clear. I'm applying backwards, if you guys could see. Um, and I'm going to gently fade that back. Because you're going to want a stress point to be around your small area. So you're going to want that to be thicker. But you're going to want your nail or your cuticle area to be rather flush. So we're going to go ahead and just pat that into place, blend it backwards. Continue to pat and move the product around to where you need it to be. So we've got our nail bed done, and I'm going to move on to my color. In this one, I'm just going to be doing a shimmery pink and white. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a ball of white. I'm going to do a rather large ball. So what I do is I put my brush on the side of the free edge, and I scrape it off. and then I just press into place. Since you've already done your smile line in reverse, you're not gonna have to worry about making sure that you're, when applying your free edge color, you're not gonna have to worry about it being too perfect because you've already done the work. All right, pick another size. It's a me about a medium. Press into place and down that smile line. You can make your smile lines as deep as you want. I like mine to be a bit deeper. In this one, I'm not doing it as deep. Um, just for the sake of time, it does take a bit longer to do. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. 
I'm going to allow this to dry. It, it usually takes, it does depend on your humidity. I am in Texas and we usually have 100% humidity. Um, crazy, I know. And it's summer, so right now, I believe earlier it was 100 and, 106, I want to say. Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> and the feel like temperature was even hotter, so you don't see anybody outside today. If you do see them outside, they're at the pool. <laughs> But um, yeah, you're definitely your humidity and everything uh, will affect the dry time. But this for me, I'm using DVD-C. It usually takes three minutes to completely dry and be ready for filing. So I'm gonna allow this to dry and I'll be right back. As your acrylic starts to set on your tip, once it starts to warm up, you can pinch the nails, which will make a C curve shape. Or, if you don't have one of those, you could just use your fingers. Use your nails and just push that nail to have a... Okay, so this nail is dry now. You'll hear the clicking. You're going to take your 100 from your 180, or 100-180 side um, file, I'm sorry. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to push the skin, the side um, of the nail down to release any acrylic that has overlapped and you're going to gently file that straight out. And you're going to do this on either side. Okay, now you're going to clean up the free edge. I think my first set I ever did took me like six hours. <laughs> but don't feel discouraged because the more you practice and the more you research and work on your techniques, the faster you will get. So I have gently buffed the area away uh, on the um, acrylic itself. So it is already pretty smooth. If you take a look at the profile of the nail, you will notice it's thin goes a slightly thicker around the smile line and then it is thinner towards the edge or the free edge rather. I'm using um, a medium coarse file. Uh, you might want to use a um, the coarsest one you have to start off with but I've already got it pretty smooth just by hand filing that quickly. doesn't want to work with me today so what I'm doing is I'm going back with my 100 size or 100 grit file rather and I'm just going to gently buff that nail again I'm gonna to go to your 180 side gently buff now this helps if, if you're doing um, any type of color Um, since this is an unnatural nail, I wanted to show you guys the buffing process. If you are using a UV gel um, top coat, which is what I use, um, you're not going to want to buff. If you do buff, um, as long you know, you want to get that smooth as you can just by using a regular file um, or your e file or a combination, whatever. Um, but you don't want to buff because that's not going to allow the gel to adhere very well and it does help if it is still um, has you know the any little scuffs or lines from your your um, 100 by 180 file so um, but in this example this isn't a real nail it doesn't get any wear and tear so 
I'm just showing you guys this quickly. You can use any one that you like. Mm -hmm. I personally, mm -hmm. I should have had this ready. I personally prefer Glaze and Go. It's pretty. It's from NSI. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, you can get this. I've actually purchased mine off of um, Amazon, or you, or you get off eBay. You're gonna want to apply very thin coat from cuticle to free edge and long strokes. You don't want to get this at all. Now when I say at all, I mean at all on any of your cuticle area. Not because this is bad for you, but um, because if you, if you put it in the UV lamp and it does, um, does harden, you will have major, major, major problems because it, it basically is a hard sealer. I guess if you want to call it, it turns very, very hard. And it's like glass. I'm <laughs> trying to get it off. It's, it seriously feels like glass. You're going to have this awkward, um, glossy thing over your, your natural skin. And it's just going to be really awkward. But go ahead and apply just like regular nail polish. You don't need to do anything fancy to it. Um, make sure to seal your free edge. And then from here, you're going to cure for two minutes and uh, I will be back to show you the final step. Okay, so I have finished curing the um, UV gel, the top coat, and as you can see, here is the finished result. I'll turn this aside so you can see the, kind of the structure of the nail itself. So you're able to see it's thinner goes to a little bit thicker and then back down to being thin again. This was very easy to do and it shouldn't take too long. It took me a bit longer because I was explaining everything but um, your last step is to apply cuticle oil around your cuticles and uh, I'm actually not going to do this on, on here but um, you just apply cuticle oil around the cuticle area area and you're just going to massage in from there uh, go have either yourself or whoever you're doing nails on go wash your hands and you are done you have a completed acrylic nail so I hope some of you guys enjoyed this um, hope someone learned something from this if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments um, request anything you might want to see in the future design wise or um, anything like that or if you feel more comfortable, you could always PM me on my channel and I will answer any questions you might have. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't done so already, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you would. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, ladies.